name's Jennifer, and I've got a son, John, who has congenital muscular dystrophy, which means that he needs to use a walker. Uh, we were going to go to the beach one year, and I wanted him to have a walker to use, and I thought of an idea of using PVC pipe to build him a walker. It turns out that the walker was good not just for the beach, but for everywhere. It's so lightweight. And so I'd like to show you all how to build a walker too. And it's very easy and very inexpensive. You can build one of these for about $15. Uh, you can see you can build them to grow with your child. This is one of the first ones I built. And as John got bigger, I built a bigger size one. Um, but now let me show you the steps so you can build one too. Let's go over some of the parts that we'll need to build the walker. The major first part is the pipe. It's a uh, three-quarter inch PVC pipe. Uh, this particular piece is about 10 foot long. You get it at Home Depot or Lowe's or any hardware store like that. Um, next, this is also a three-quarter inch pipe. It's a condensate trap and I've discovered that it makes very nice handles for the walker. To attach the handles onto the rest of the piping, you're going to need these connector pieces. These connector pieces are three-quarter by three-quarter slip so that you can just slip them onto the pipe. And we also need a, another three-way connector that's going to connect the corner pieces, and this is what that looks like. Um, this was not quite as easy to find. I couldn't find it in just your basic Home Depot or Lowe's, uh, but I did find it on the internet. And you just want to make sure that you find it so that it's a slip, slip, slip connection. We need wheels. These wheels are blow molded plastic, which means that it's air in the inside. On this original walker, I couldn't find wheels. I just took these from a toy lawnmower that we had and that they've worked really well. Um, but since then I've Googled a lot and I managed to find these. These are six inch diameter as opposed to four inch diameter, but I don't think that will make too big of a difference. And need some bolts or some other way of connecting your wheel onto your pipe. And let's see, finally you're going to need some PVC cement. Uh, you can get this just about anywhere. The biggest thing which you'll find when we're gluing it together is that you just have to be careful, it dries really fast. Okay, let's go over some of the tools that you'll need tape measure, that's a big one, have to measure properly. Uh, next, you need a saw. Uh, I'm just using a regular saw, and but I am using a miter box to help try and make my cuts a little bit straighter. Um, and finally, have a drill. This is a drill press. Originally, the first walkers that I made, um, I just used the drill without the drill press, and the wheels got a little bit crooked. So I'm hoping with this I'll get some straighter holes. Okay, I'm back. Now, what we're going to do is measure out the legs and the crossbar and the side pieces and cut them out. Uh, I found when you're looking for height that if you measure to the small of the back, that gives you about the height that you're looking for. Um, in my case, my back legs are about 16 inches. Uh, the front legs, because of the handle here, are going to be two and a half inches less. Um, so in my case, they're going to be 13 and a half inches. For the crossbar, um, my crossbar is right at 13 inches. That seems to be a good width for when you're going in and out of doorways. Uh, maybe for you, you, you might play with that a little bit. Uh, and for the sides, again, you might want to play with how, how much depth you want. Uh, in my case, I've got it at 10 inches, and that gives me an overall almost 20 inches for the depth. 
um, you just want to give some room for when you're walking that when you're kicking back with your foot that you're not bumping into things. Okay, so let's start with the 16 inches. So I'm going to measure out on my pipe 16 inches and I'll use the miter box and the saw to cut it out. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to put one together? I'm saying, as long as you have all the parts assembled, it doesn't take much longer than an hour. If you notice, the walker has holes in it, and that's because we're using the walker in a swimming pool, and the holes help the water to leave, and so the walker doesn't float. We've got everything cut out, and we've got the holes drilled in the different pieces and now we're going to dry fit everything together and get it in the right form that we need it in. So now I'm just getting this last leg in here. I want to make sure that everything evens up, it's not crooked, that it all lines up and then I'm going to I'm going to put the tires on, put the wheels on. When you're putting the wheels on, you can notice that there are two different sides to the wheels. And so you want to just make sure you put the bump side next to the walker. Okay, we've got it dry fit together. You want to make sure that nothing's twisted. You want to make sure that all the angles are nice and straight. You want to do this before you've glued it because when you use that glue, it dries so fast you won't even have a chance to straighten it out. Once you get, the, once you get everything aligned just the way you need it to be, then you can take a permanent marker and mark on the pipe where it needs to line up, and this will help you when you're gluing it together. All right, I have my helper, Owen, with me. He's going to put some glue right in here, just right there, and he's going to hand it to me. And get, make sure you get it all around. Good. Now I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it on, line up my fours. Okay. Boy, dries fast. Okay. Put that glue right in here, Owen. All around. Get all the sides. Okay. Just about done. These last two places here, instead of gluing, you can see I drilled a hole through both the uh, corner piece and the pipe. Now I'm just going to put a type of cotter pin through there and fasten it on. This will let me pull it apart if I need to. And there we go. We're done. Ta -da. Shake it all about. about the way you get up Do the do -si -do. every morning and start turn yourself new around. Sunshine. That's I what it's all about. Me. I just don't know how you oh, can fast. do it every morning. Are you going fast, John?